Black Spectacles is the architect's website for learning design software. This is just one of thousands of tutorials we've built to help you stay current and stay a step ahead of the competition. After this video, check out blackspectacles.com to gain unlimited access to all of our courses. As you build scenes in 3D Studio Max, you want to be as efficient as possible. It'll help save on file size, mostly it'll help save on render time, and it will help the performance of working in your viewport. And there's a really good way to keep tabs on that. If you click on the plus and you go to configure viewports, you can find the statistics tab. We're going to click on it here. And I want you I want you to watch this area up here. Statistics, if once I activate these, if I click show an applicant an active view, I click OK, that's gonna pop up, okay? This is a polygon count for my entire scene. Right now I have 192 polygons and 98 vertices in this scene. And we'll turn frames for a second off in a minute because we're not gonna use that. And the reason this is good is because once I get around, you know. 50,000, 100,000, you know, a couple hundred thousand polygons, this scene can really chug. And so turning this on can help you keep an eye on it and know when you need to dial back, you know. Do I really need 40 revolutions on the spline or will 24 do? Does it still appear round enough? So it'll help you determine the amount of detail that you need to get your scene to look where you want it to look as well as get the performance where it needs to be. We're going to turn off frames per second because we're not going to use that. Don't necessarily use vertexes, but I'll leave it on. The biggest one I use is polygon count. Now the next one we're going to turn on is total plus selection. Okay, I think this is very convenient because you can see it pop up here. It has the name of the object that I've selected and then the total. This is a total for the entire scene and this is a total for this particular object I've selected. So. I've deselected the object. Obviously, there's no selection there. Let me add a sphere here. I'm going to slide it over a little bit. Now you can see the total polygons in the scene are 1,152. 960 of them are devoted to this sphere, which means if I'm looking at the scene, I'm having a hard time, and the renders are taking a long time, I'm having a hard time showing it on my computer, I need to dial back on this sphere. You know, this is the main culprit in my scene. So like I say, these are some very useful tools to help you be a little more efficient in your modeling. It'll show you where you need to dial back. You can find the next tutorial in this course on blackspectacles.com. Just click the link below this video. And for other tutorials in architecture software, check out blackspectacles.com. It's the architect's website for learning design software with courses in software like CAD, Revit, Rhino, 3ds Max, Grasshopper, Photoshop, and many more. Visit blackspectacles.com now to see more free tutorials and to gain unlimited access to our entire course library.